So my last little adventure didn't really work out. Um, I thought that I had been recording when I wasn't. So after the whole freezing them stage, I wound up with a bunch of cut testing that didn't make it on the film and everything was pretty much just cut and pierced and hacked all the hell up by the time I realized what had happened. So there was no, there was no retaking that. So sorry that I wasn't able to put out a cut test for messing around with that stuff, but I forgot to throw a piece away and it dried. Now this was the gelatin that had white sand in it. And when it dried out, it became very hard and rigid. So I was wondering after I saw a recent video where Skologrim was talking about his quest to find a good bone analog. And I thought, well, maybe that stuff can be an ingredient in making bones. So what follows is playing around with that. So from what I understand, bone is made out of calcium phosphate, which is pretty much gypsum. This is some chunks from some gypsum board. It also has calcium carbonate, which is chalk. Collagen, which is, well, it's pretty much gelatin. Gelatin is cooked collagen. And then there's a tiny bit of salt in it. There's some water and other proteins, which is probably in the cooked gelatin. So I'm thinking if I combine these in the right amounts, I might be able to get something that when it dries is like bone. Well, it's looking interesting. It's a little sticky. Now I've worked with dough before making baked goods. And I know what helps with sticky is flour. Mammal bone, I guess, has some parts of it at least that are hollow on the inside with marrow in there. If I get this a little wetter so that it's more moldable, I press this straw into it, try to get that surrounded on all sides, get it looking smoother and something more like a uh, section of bone. I'm gonna stick that in the freezer and see what comes of it. So this takes about 24 hours of drying, but you can sort of uh, see the result here. It looks something like a bone. Here's a comparison. It's not too off in size or shape. The color is a little off, but it also seems to be about the same hardness and weight as any one of these larger ones. So I think it's pretty close. My my little bone meal slapped together recipe might 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 be on to something with that. Of course, I need to really look up the exact proportions that I need to be using and blend it a lot better. I picked this up for the reason of hopefully eventually making some molds that my recipe, once refined, can be put into to make bones. One of the big concerns about this is doing it on the cheap. I want to use ingredients that anyone can buy and that are relatively easy to obtain and that are inexpensive and I want a recipe that's comprehensive and easy to put together. I want it to be able to be mass producible. You know if you're cut testing you're going to need 20 of these things <clears throat> and these are about oh eleven dollars a piece on eBay so you don't want to spend that kind of money to cut test and also these are these are a resin this is not made up of the same stuff as bone either 
Well, it is. It has, it basically has the same ingredients from what I can tell. But the microstructure is not the same. Bone grows. This was mixed together. But uh, one of the hopes here is that the microstructure not being the same is going to be a good thing. Because I want to be, I want it to be close to bone. But I don't want it to be strong as or stronger than bone. I don't want it to be so tough that it might actually end up damaging a blade that you're testing. I'd like it to be a little bit kinder than real bone is. Well, that's it for now. Have a good one.